This is the last video of area, and that means that next week you guys have some really fun stuff coming. If your parents went and picked up the paper copies at school, you have so many cool perimeter area fun projects, a moon base, Minecraft, a robot with perimeter and area. Oh my gosh, you guys, you have no idea. Also a zoo, a dream house. So cool. So we'll finish this in the next week. It's all fun and relaxing where we get to do some fun projects to review perimeter and area and kind of reward ourselves a little bit for all this hard work that we're doing. This last one is all about equal areas and fractions. You can use an equal area of your shape to model fractions. And we're going to use division to figure that out. And I'll show you what it means. You're going, huh? But when I draw my lines, you'll go, oh, Easy peasy, lemons crazy. Okay, so the first one that we're going to do, I have this square up here and it says two parts. I wanna show two different ways that I can do two parts. I can cut this shape into two parts. So I am going to make sure that it's equal. It has to be equal. Let's see. Ooh, you guys, <gasps> we could do rows. There's one, two, three, four rows. Remember rows go side to side, they're horizontal. Remember my dad always told me when it was bedtime, time to get horizontal, you lay down side to side. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and I know that in half is two. So if this was a pan of brownies, here's my one friend, they're thrilled. They get half a pan of brownies. I would be thrilled too. A little bit of milk and mm, time to relax and enjoy. There's one way to split that in half. I think there's another way though because I'm looking at my columns now. Those are vertical up and down like a tower. One, two, three, four. It has four too. So if I cut that in half, that has two on each side. That's equal. I just used these shapes, you guys, to show fractions. This is half, this is half, this is half, and this is half. Half plus half is one whole pan of brownies. This is so cool. Okay, next one. Ooh, four parts. Oh my gosh, I love this, you guys. My brain is getting a workout. Ooh, I know just from when we're drawing our, oops, off my line. Just from when we've been drawing our things uh, for fractions or number lines, I know that to make four parts, we cut it in half and then we cut each of the halves again. And I kind of just drew on the four lines. Now I have one part. Ooh, here, let me get my other colors. Two parts. Oh my gosh, it's a rainbow of fun. Three parts. And four parts. One fourth of this is orange. One fourth is blue. One fourth is teal. And one fourth is purple. Add my four fourths together and I get one whole piece. This is so cool. It's like fractions, but you guys were, were doing area. What? Okay. One more way to do four parts. Um, why not do our columns? We did that up top. Why not? One two, where's my blue, three, and four. Okay, these are in fourths. If I added them all together, I would have one whole piece. We'll call it, let's call this a cake. It's our party cake. It's our at-home party cake. Woo! -hoo! Okay, last one. Ooh, five parts. You know, this is really tricky and I'm drawing with pen and I don't want to mess it up. So I'm actually going to use a little bit of division here. Oh my gosh. So glad I know my facts. All right. Five parts. Well, how many pieces do I have to split up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten pieces to split up into five divided by five different parts equals, well, how many of those squares are going to be in each piece? Remember, division is like backwards multiplication. Something times five equals 10. Hmm, I bet you know. You guys, it's, it's two. It, it's two. In case you didn't know, two times five is 10. So that means that two squares are going to be one piece. So let's see, one, 
two. Well, I'm going to do my colors again just so you can see it separated. One, two. One, two. One, two. And I think I have one more pen around here. I do. Ooh, it's a shiny one. It's fancy. Now I have five different pieces. Is there another way to do this? I think there is. How about I try vertical? One and two. I know that each piece has to have two of those squares because if I need five parts, five times two squares would be all the area. Ten whole squares. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, uh-oh. There's only one left at the bottom. What am I going to do? Oh, <gasps> you guys, I know. I know, I know, I know. I can go like this. Boop, 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 boop. There, there's a different way to do it. Ta-da! Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. So here's another way of looking at area. We use division and our fraction knowledge right now. That is so cool, you guys. I mean, it blows my mind how we're connecting our math all together right now with this area unit. It's so cool. So I've got some of this for you to practice on a Google Doc. Not a lot, but you've noticed it's pretty darn easy. I hope you guys have a little bit of fun with it. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Okay, bye.